This is the Satellite News Channel. Give us 18 minutes, we'll give you the world. This is your Satellite News Channel. I'm Jose Grignan, and here's what's happening. The long June 21st, 1982. A new Princess era Diana in American journalism dawned that day when Satellite News Channel went on the air. We were cable's side. only all live, all news, 24 hour a day news service. Our first report the birth of Prince William, eventual heir to the British throne. Plus, the top international, national, and local stories of the day, the latest weather, sports, and business news. Since then, we've established ourselves as the place to turn when news is breaking. Whenever and wherever news happens, SNC has been there first, bringing our cable subscribers the information they need to know. Here's an example of some of the stories that broke first on Satellite News Channel. Monday, June 21, marks the first day for Satellite News Channel. SNC Washington correspondent John Bascom relays news of the John Hinckley acquittal to anchor Solon Gray. Gray reports the verdict live seconds after its rendering. Friday, June 25, 7.55 a.m. As the Lebanese crisis worsens, Lebanese Prime Minister Shafiq Wazan resigns. SNC foreign correspondent Andrew Mizels is in Beirut. By 8 o'clock, SNC reports the news to the United States, just five minutes after the resignation is announced. Monday, July 5, Washington, D.C. Emmy Award-winning SNC Washington Bureau Chief Lou Chiaffi breaks the story of Secretary of State Alexander Haig's dismissal, five hours ahead of all other news services. Saturday, July 24, torrential rains hit Japan, setting off flooding that claims hundreds of lives. SNC provides the first footage seen of the United States, six hours before CNN, 12 hours before the broadcast networks. Tuesday, August 10th, negotiations continue on the fate of 10,000 PLO guerrillas in West Beirut. Satellite News Channel's Andrew Mizels in Tel Aviv breaks the story of Syria's agreement to accept all PLO guerrillas. Mizels' live report was the first word that an agreement had been reached. Minutes ahead of the wire services, 30 minutes ahead of all television news operations. Thursday, November 11, 3.01 a.m., the death of Soviet President Leonid Brezhnev was reported first to the American people by the Satellite News Channel during a live interview with the U.S. Embassy official in Moscow. SNC reported the story just seconds after the Soviets announced that Brezhnev had died. December 8, 9.45 a.m., SNC reports the first word of the seizure of the Washington Monument. Meanwhile, mobile crews from SNC's Washington Bureau race to the scene to begin continuous live coverage. At 7.36 p.m., SNC's cameras are live, trained on the van said to be holding 1,000 pounds of explosives. As the van suddenly pulls away from the monument, police sharpshooters open fire. SNC's Dan Breinholt describes the live action to SNC viewers as the van speeds away and eventually overturns. The satellite news channel stays on top of sports news, too. February 23rd, SNC sportscaster Larry Sacknoff reports that Georgia running back Herschel Walker will not play college football again. His report comes a full half hour before the wire services and before the University of Georgia makes the official announcement. March 31st, 10.15 a.m. Sacknoff is the first to report a settlement has been reached between NBA players and owners. That settlement averts an April 1st player strike. The Satellite News Channel has become an innovator in news reporting. One of those innovations is our regional associate format. With 24 correspondent stations around the country, we can cover the nation like no other news network can. Friday, July 16, Justice Byron White prepares to make a speech in Salt Lake City, Utah. Seconds before he's to speak, he's attacked by someone in the audience. Regional associate KUTV captures the only footage of that attack. It is seen for the first time nationally on Satellite News Channel. July 23rd, actor Vic Morrow and two children are tragically killed as a helicopter loses control during location filming in California. Los Angeles Regional Associate KTTV reports the deaths of the actor and the two children for the Satellite News Channel, 15 minutes ahead of the wire services, 40 minutes before any other cable news program. Thank you, Jose, and good afternoon, everyone. Here this is SNC Today, one year later. Still all news, still all live. Busy trying to top ourselves 24 hours a day. Busy providing the latest sports scores. Weather maps that tell you what's going on and what to expect. And business news that's to the point. And our second year looks even more promising. News from the entertainment world. Special series on subjects our viewers care about. Added regional associates to give us greater news gathering abilities and provide regional coverage for our viewers. Of course, sometimes the well-oiled SNC locomotive gets momentarily sidetracked. Here's a medley of memorable followers.
In other news, the nation of Poland is bracing for demonstrations. This, the anniversary of Solidarity. SNC's Ken Alvord is in touch with Warsaw right now. And uh, Ken, are you ready? Ken is not ready with that report. Well, I'm ready. Uh, did you get a camera over here? I think we can, uh, maybe we can put my screen over here. Let's see. Uh, let's keep coming. There you go. I have uh, Nick Yowie from ITN London on the line. He's in Warsaw, Poland. And uh, Nick, you tell me the government has been leading off with some strong warnings against the protests which uh, Solidarity would like to see there in Poland. What are they saying? Nick, can you hear me there? Nick Gowing? Well, it would appear we are not ready. <laughs> this is our forecast map for later on today. <laughs> do you like it? If I could stand on my head, I'd do it that way. <laughs> anyway, we have some showers in the southeast. Well, Los Angeles officials are breathing easier. <laughs> <laughs> but it took a Cincinnati judge to rule that even peacocks are subject to pooper scooper laws. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry, I can't finish the story. A new terrorist organization is warning of reprisals against Corsican nationalists in the Paris area. I'm awfully sorry, this has nothing to do with the story. The nationalists seek independence for Corsica, the Mediterranean island, under French rule. I'm awfully sorry. Amanda Davis, Satellite News Channel, Washington. You know, a lot of people come up to me on the streets of downtown Stamford, Connecticut, and say, Jeff, how can you spot all of those storms? Well, this morning, we're going to reveal our secret. It's our official Captain Video Storm Spotter Spectacles. If you had them, you could do it, too. That's the weather now from SNC. Beam me up, Scotty. You're watching the Satellite News Channel. Well, it's now 14 minutes after the hour. Time for sports with Jim Brinson. Jim? <laughs> hey, that's the way it is in live television, let me tell you. Hello. It is now six minutes past the hour. This is the Satellite News, uh, satellite news Channel. Sports with Jim Brent Brennan. All on your Satellite News Channel. Now 28 minutes past the hour. Time to look ahead at the next half hour on the Satellite News Channel. Here's R.D. Uh, Hall. Uh, Saul, pardon me, R.D. <laughs> <laughs> Close, but no cigar, Solon. <laughs> Nick Gowing? Nick, can you hear me? <laughs> North Carolina and also Newburgh, North Carolina, down to Wilmington and Charleston. Some of that rain's on the moderate to heavy side. And uh, basically here we're drifting out of sight again. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Oh, boy, what a morning here at SNC. <laughs> John Bascom is in Washington with a live report. Touch. By a vote of five to three, the justices of the Supreme Court decided to grant the motion to vacate the stay to the execution. Apparently, we are having some problems. Uh, John apparently is not hearing our communications. and we'll... Do we have that report from Andrew Mizell's? We do have a report. We do not have a report, Commander Rice. <laughs> it's one of those mornings, folks. Stay with us. It's now 13 minutes after the hour. Time for the SNC Sports Highlights with uh, Larry Sacknoff. Uh, with Mark Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Jane. Uh, Barbara. <laughs> well, stay with us. Of course, with network news, things move more smoothly. You won't find Sam Donaldson or Jessica Savage losing their cool in front of millions. No siree. Just fine. What am I supposed to do about it standing here? Well, if that's the woman, you tell her to shut up. They'd like the clothes now. We don't have the clothes yet. I haven't written the clothes yet, mothers. They gave his word to President Reagan that Israel would not... I'm not doing it again. Get your hands off me. Don't you grab me and you, don't you come touch me. You understand that? You, you want to come to the Northwest Gate with me, Mr. Donaldson? Get your hand off me. This is prime time television here, folks. 
I can assure you I won't be watching daytime television. Bill Plant, CBS News, the White House. That's it. No more. Three. Oh, you got a train coming. There's a train coming. There's a train coming. There is a train coming. Roy Neal is in Houston with this late report. Jack Lausma's first report came this morning, and as the astronauts woke up, they found that flight planners had changed days, putting the actions originally planned for tomorrow into today's schedule instead. Yesterday's schedule was a lot harder than expected. <laughs> well, that's live television for you. Correspondent Scott Barrett is at George Washington University Hospital with a live update. Now, which network uh, catering service is that? ABC. I can report that ABC's catering catered lunch. Hey, Scott uh, is having trouble uh, listening to us. So we'll see if we can get in touch with him for you. I understand this is the end of a lifelong ambition to get a head job someplace. Contact. Chances of t take a shot of this. I want you to get a shot of this. Are you communist? Huh? Are you no, communist? we're all Americans, man. Yeah, You're an American. I'm an American. Who are you? This is Ike Pappas at Sokolow Park, attempting to do a close. Do you see what we have to go through? Thank you very much. Would you mind? I've got <laughs> look. I got 15 minutes before air. Okay, come on, no, really. Look, we're fellas. On air yet? Fellas, will you please leave us alone? We're on air. No way. Go sit over there, and I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay? Really? Go on. I'll talk to you. Would you? Yeah, we'll talk to you. I will tell you everything. Just let me do this. Because if I don't get on the air, it's all over. I'll be out here with, with you guys in the park. And now they will light the first light of Hanukkah. Rabbi Bleefeld, uh, this is Richard Scher. And uh, we'd like you to explain the significance of Hanukkah, if you would. This begins our eight-night festival of religious freedom in a festival of rededication. But because we of the Jewish community share in the concern for the hostages being held in Iran, for they too are suffering under a contemporary form of religious tyranny. And it's tip-off time <laughs> to at Archbishop Curley. Klaus Wagner will have that story for you live next on Eyewitness News. February is Black History Month, an opportunity for all of us to become more sensitive to contributions black Americans have made to our country. Tonight, Mara Walensky is here to tell us about a part of history you might not have known blacks were involved in. Mara. Well, numerous groups are sponsoring a wide variety of projects in celebration of Black History Month today. Well, as Mara Walensky would say, we're number one. <laughs> So SNC completes its first year of operation. It's been an exciting year. As Al Jolson said, you ain't seen nothing yet. SNC will continue serving up the news while it's hot and while it's happening. The Satellite News Channel. Give us 18 minutes and we'll give you the word.